In today's video, I cracked open 10 of my most valuable PSA graded cards and resubmitted them. Grading is a popular process used by collectors around the world. Grading cards is where a third-party company takes your card, whether it be a sports card or a trading card, and evaluates its condition and gives it a number that correlates with the condition. They then seal them in slabs for protection and display. But sometimes, your cards get graded and you don't agree with the grade. While infrequent, this does happen. Today, I'm cracking open 10 valuable slabs that I previously graded to give them a second chance at getting the gym mint 10. We're starting off with the you know, a five, so not a lot of risk here. I'm not a great at removing from the slabs. Don't do this very often. So we're gonna make our way down to some pretty crazy cards, ultimate rares. So initially I attempted to use pliers to open the cases and realized this would not work. I had to audible. This doesn't feel like the best way to do this. Yeah, I might go get that other one. After a quick trip to my dad's house, I grabbed some wire cutters. Initially, I tested my cracking skills on a couple of low grade cards and it didn't go so well. Okay, now I kind of took away my leg. After nearly destroying that card and leaving a mark on it, I realized that I wasn't doing this right. Yeah, I did that. I was attempting to break the side of the slab when I should have been clipping off each corner and then popping it open with the screwdriver. After I made this shift, the cards came out much smoother. While I did have more than the final 10 cards that I ended up resubmitting, I ultimately decided that these 10 were the only cards that felt strongly should be 10s instead of the original grade they received. These 10 cards were Break of the Magical Warrior, yeah, that thing is mint. Thousand Dragon, Back looks pretty good, man, this card looks good. Summon Skull, looks Pretty good. Harpy's Pet Dragon. It looks good like I thought. It's a good looking card. Dark Arm Dragon. It does have the box, you know, that's just pretty normal for these kind of cards, but it's pretty nice. About as good as you're gonna get for an ultimate rare. So yeah, I think it should have another chance. Elemental Hero Aqua Neos. I don't even remember grading this one. Yeah, that card looks great. Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Super nice. And I just did not get this grade. It was super clean. I mean, it has gotta be centering. That's gotta be why it got the nine. Cyber Dark Dragon. Okay, we have the card. Wow, that is beautiful in this lighting. I mean, I didn't even bring any lighting down here and this thing looks sick. The Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Nobody tell Konami. And finally, Cyber End Dragon. That looks incredible on that thing. Ultimate Rare, no back imprint, which is insane for this card. Now you might recognize some of those from previous videos. So now I have to resubmit all these cards to PSA. And you know what that means? It's time to wait. All right, after several minutes of trying to figure out how to open those boxes, I got them out without spoiling anything. I am gonna take them out of these sleeves though. We're gonna do that so we can actually look at them really closely. We'll be right back. In today's video, we are giving away a first edition Asian English LOB Monster Reborn. So this is pretty cool. You don't see these every day. It's a PSA 5, so not the best grade, but it's still a very cool card. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below your favorite card from this return. Let's start with number 62, which appears to have there's something right in the middle right there. I think I put them in order based on the cert number. So these should be in order of the way I submitted them, which means it'll be the most exciting order. So let's see. Uh, we're almost to, wow, 80 million certs. I remember when I was first grading, it was like 40 million, I think, around then. So they've almost doubled since I started. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is the, uh, B, not the BLS, the... Uh, Breaker the Magical Warrior. This thing was a little bit OC, I think was the main issue the first time. It was very clean. I don't remember this on the back. Is that in a, that might be on the on the case. I don't know. We're not gonna spend too much time. We've already seen the cracking. Let's just see what they get. Very nice, Jim Minton. So our first one, that is changed. So we're gonna have a counter. How many go from nine to 10 or go from nine to eight? This is the first change of the video. This was a great card. I pulled this card, I believe. So it was super minty. I don't know what this is because that just must be on the case. I don't know, but that was definitely not there. This is gonna be going to my collection. So it's very cool. Some, well, maybe it won't. It depends on if somebody wants it, but the plan for some of these is to be sold and some to be kept. It just depends on what gets 10, what gets nine, because it's got a 10, I'm tempted to keep it. All right, next card we have at number 63, a little bit of scuff, well, you know, not scuffing, but a little bit of stuff on the slab again. We have Thousand Dragons. So this one, I remember being like, this could get a 10, but I will not be surprised if this is still a nine, but I thought it obviously it had a chance. The ones that I thought had a chance, I sent back in. Let's just go straight into it, because this is going to be somewhat of a longer video with all the cracking and stuff. 
Gemin 10. Oh my gosh, what a start. Two PSA 10s already. So these were both nines before and now they're 10. So this is the thing to keep in mind when you are buying PSA, you're grading PSA. Grading companies are not gonna be completely consistent because they are humans and uh, some humans are better than others at grading cards. I thought these were better than they were previously graded. I also want to make a note of these 10 cards that I resubmitted were over the last like two years that I've been like collecting of, I feel strongly that these should be another grade. And that's out of the hundreds of cards we've graded. So this isn't every card that I've ever graded I thought was wrong, but keep in mind that they are not perfect and they will make mistakes. So whether they made a mistake this time or last time was up to you, but I thought these cards were super mint. I thought I deserved a second chance. So that's why we're doing it here. So let's go on the next one. Two straight PSA 10s. I'm ecstatic. I might not look ecstatic, probably because we just did that 10 video and I'm pooped. We did for the live stream. We opened it 100 tins. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. But I am tired right now, but I'm pumped for this return. Here's the card that this is one that I felt so passionately about. We pulled this out of a blister. If you guys remember, it was about a year ago, probably. Pulled a first edition Summon Skull out of a blister and it got a nine. And it was one of the mintiest cards I've ever seen. I was very sad about it. Uh, the centering, I guess, is not completely 100% perfect, but it's still pretty good. This is one that I felt super passionate about that I wanted to crack open and give it another shot. Let's see if it paid off. It did. Yes. Yes. I've never actually graded this card before in a PSA 10. So I'm very happy that the second time actually did better. This card is a Jim Mint 10. And I will say that for all these cards I submitted, I feel like they are all Jim Mint 10s. And that's the reason I went through the whole process of potentially damaging them. I was so scared the entire time. I did actually damage the UFO Road Fighter, which it was an eight anyway. So it wasn't a big deal. I looked at it. It was probably still should have been an eight. Okay. We are officially three for three. This is a great start. There's still uh, eight more cards. One of them. Yeah, seven more we cracked, eight more. One of them was the blue eyes. So let's see what this card, These this honestly is the mintiest submission I've probably ever done, which is hilarious because they were already nines. I mean, that's mint technically, but uh, these cards were incredible. Let's see what the next card is. Yes, Barbie's Pet Dragon. Another one. If you guys remember this return, this is the most recent one. We got this back. We pulled this card in the 200K special and I looked over this card and I was like, this is the best condition retro pack card I have ever pulled in terms of retro pack secret rares. And I was stunned when it got the nine. And it looks like with that return, when I cracked out the, the BLS and everything, I did crack those. They were eights before. I think they were nines probably. They weren't tens. So uh, I didn't resubmit those. But this guy... I knew when I saw it, this is the best condition card. It is insane, it's so nice. And yes, they, oh, this is so, oh, it's incredible. Thank you. PSA, you're, you're doing much better this time. The sad part is they were nines the first time, so it's like you wish they would've gotten it right the first time. And you know, there is some randomness to it. And I know a lot of people will see this and be like, ew, why'd you grave them in the first place? My collection is all PSA for the most part. I like PSA, I like their slabs. And also they just bring really great value to the cards, which is a huge plus when you're actually spending a ton of money because it did cost me, I think. I did these all at the regular submission level, so $75 a piece, 1500 is the max. So I got a couple of up charges. So it ended up being like, I think it was like 1300. So these are very, very expensive to regrade. Another reason you probably shouldn't do it. And that is what kind of sucks about having to do it. But I am super happy that they are getting them right this time. Uh, I'm shocked actually that, that we got four tens in a row. I am a little worried though because we do have as you see this is an ultimate rare this is our dark arm dragon i can tell just from the back dark arm dragon i graded two of these one both got nines one was a nine for sure the other one that was borderline i thought had a 10 chance i don't feel great about this one getting a 10 this time but i wanted to give another shot this is probably the one that i was the like least confident about let's just see if it got the 10 Okay, I think this is probably a fair grade. And why it's fair is because this on the back, it's just, I don't think that they can look past it, even though I'm personally, I think out of the specific pack it's from, Turbo Pack 6, everyone is gonna look like this. That's why I think it is fine because honestly, it's not like damage or anything. It's just kind of wavy. And I kind of expected this to get a nine again, but I wanted to give it one more shot. So this is the least minty of all of them. It's still in incredible shape. It's, it's a gym mint card, but unfortunately no PSA 10 there. And it looks like that case has a little nick on it, which is kind of sad, but our first nine of the day, I'll put that back there. I can't really complain about that one with how we've done. Uh, you might know which one this one is. We did not crack and resubmit this one because we have never graded this one before. It's the only card we have graded for the first time. The Blue Eyes White Dragon from Spell of Mask Ultimate Rare. This card was in great condition. Great, 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 great condition. Let's just see what it got. 
and it got the 10. Beautiful. This is probably one that got an upcharge. I think it's a pretty expensive card in PSA 10. It might be like two. We're going to have prices on the screen, so you'll, you'll know. Beautiful. This is one that I'm probably going to be keeping in the collection because I do not own this card. I don't have a lot of PSA 10 blue eyes, actually. I have a PSA 9 for LOB First Ed. I don't have a DDS. I don't have a lot of things that are like iconic Yu-Gi-Oh collectibles. So this is my first step into that, uh, you know, getting into those big time blue eyes. I'm super pumped about that. This return is incredible so far. And if you are wondering uh, what happened to the Flame Swordsman, I'm still waiting on PSA to get back to me about that. I sent it back in, they're reviewing it. So there's no update on that yet. The damage card, slight ding on the top, but they'll be getting back on pretty soon, I think. So we'll see. All right, now we're gonna hit some big ones. I don't, this looks like an ultimate rare. I do have a few ultimate rares in here. I don't remember which is which though. Okay, Aqua Neos. This card, I don't think I pulled. I think I just found this card in the wild, you know, and it was in great condition. So we're just gonna see what it got. I don't know. Okay, a nine. This one got a nine again. That makes me worried for my other ultimate rares because all it really has is this uh, ultimate rare indent and it's not too bad there. So another nine. I hope all the ulties didn't get nines again because they are so, they're so nice. Okay, what is this? I don't know what this card is. Oh, Flame Wingman. This is one we pulled, I think two years ago. So I, as I said, two years ago, we, we opened these up. So this one I felt really strongly about condition. Centering was the only thing borderline, but the rest, I mean, you can't even see the ulti stamp on the back. Look at that. It is incredibly nice. Flaming Man, I don't have this in PSA 10. So if we could get it, have I ever even owned it? I did own it at one point, but I didn't pull it. So this is the one I pulled. Here we go. Yes, let's go. The Flame Wingman is so beautiful. What a nice card. That's a super sick card because I did pull this one myself. This one we will be keeping in the collection. Beautiful ultimate rare. That is sick. <sighs> okay, the last three are ultimate rares. These are the big cards of the, of the submission. So I'm really hoping that these came back super nice as well. So this one has a little bit of an ulti indent. I really hope that's not you know, holding it back. The Cyber Dark Dragon. We have graded one of these before. Ironically, the first time I had one of these, I pulled it, graded it a nine. One of the first cards I ever cracked got a 10. So it, it'd be interesting if that happened again here. I did not pull this card. This is a different one. This one I got out of a collection and it was super minty. So I was like, we got to submit this. Let's see if it got the 10 this time. Oh, that's not a good sign for the ultis. And the, oh, they're so nice. It's just the ulti stamp on the bottom part. That is it. A little bit going on on the slab here. Okay. Oh, not good. Not a good sign. This one, I'm not sure which one's which. The Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Elemental Hero Air Neos. Beautiful, literally the mintiest Air Neos I've ever seen. The centering's not perfect on this thing, but we had to try it again because of how clean it is. Let's see what it got. Oh, another nine. I'm not feeling good about this. Okay, this one is a little bit a little bit off-centered. So, I mean, it does have the ulti stamp. So, but it's just such a clean card. For this card and for like what it is, the ultimate rare, it's almost impossible to get this like any better condition than this. This card is absolutely immaculate. So it's a really nice nine. And finally, this is the big one. Cyber in Dragon. It doesn't have much stamp. So that makes me think it has a chance. Cyber and Dragon, when I cracked this thing out, first, when I first submitted, I was like, this is the mintiest ultimate rare I've like ever seen. I did not pull this, by the way, one day maybe. It's so insanely minty. And then I cracked it out and it was still just that minty. I didn't damage it. I was so proud of myself. If this gets a 10, this is the ultimate, ultimate card get it ultimate rare let's see if it did this is the end of this video let me know if you guys have enjoyed this kind of video you know resubmitting and seeing what happens it's a little bit fun to see how it turns out uh, we've ha obviously done a lot better than we did the first time we submitted these cards uh, i felt strongly about all these cards i've kind of explained it as i go let's see if we can end on a perfect perfect card ah, yes the gem man cyber and dragon let's go that is huge and well deserved i might add this card is super nice you guys saw it all on, the, on in this video you saw how clean it was this card is unbelievable when this got the nine the first time i was shocked so i'm glad to see that it is in its rightful case with the gym mint in that is beautiful what a submission that was amazing oh <sighs> Shout out to Tonefo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, and then a Tai Show, Ian Moose Jr. Barding, Robert F., and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.